Rahim. Um, he's an entrepreneur in e-commerce, and not only that, as I mentioned earlier, he studied formerly the Islamic religious knowledge from an al azhar accredited institute, and he wants to give him a few words to benefit the hearts, insha'Allah. So give it up for Ustad Ahmed Ibrahim. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah, Allahumma la zahma illa ma ja'amta wa sa'na, fa anta ya hayu ya qayyum, taj'am al hazna ila shidda sa'na, Allahumma, Allahumma dhikkinna wa nasina, wa anfa'na bin a'la, wa zidna a'la, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. The year is 2020, and prior to this year in history, there have been many figures in history who have been influential and are very well known, like uh, Plato, Socrates, George Washington, a person might say these figures, and many other figures, Julius Caesar, all of these figures. But if you'll think about it and actually realize is that nobody nowadays in this life says that I'm following the Sunnah of, of, uh, of these figures. There is uh, like uh, a person is um, like uh, a person doesn't say I'm going to sleep the way that they slept. A person doesn't say I'm going to drink water the way that they drank or uh, eat the way they ate. But as we see now, Muslims around the world, they eat as the Prophet ate, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and they try to sleep how the Prophet slept, and they try to drink how the Prophet drank, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So their, um, so their uh, effect in history it was very short-lived, as opposed to the uh, as opposed to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. As you can see, the Prophet he died how many years ago? How many years? How long ago did he die? The Prophet died 1,400 years ago, and yet nowadays Muslims around the world are still trying to eat the way that he ate drank uh, and, and, um, and drink the way that he drank and to do many acts the way that he did. There was a person who, um, who wrote a book. There was a famous, uh, a famous author a few decades ago. He authored a book uh, entitled The 100. And in this book, he seeked to list the most influential people in history and he listed them, and who knows who number one is? Number one is Prophet Muhammad This author, who lived maybe 40 years ago, he listed the Prophet Muhammad as, as, as number one, as the most influential person in history. If you were to example the prophet, if, um, if you were to think about the prophet's life, he received the revelation at the age of 40. So then, it was from 40 until 63, he was spreading Islam, which is how many years? It's 23 years. Okay, so he was the only one in Mecca spreading Islam. He was the only Muslim in Mecca initially. And then Allah supported him and the Kuffar, of course, they hated him. Every, every person in Saudi Arabia at that time, uh, in general, hated him. But Allah supported the Prophet. And the Prophet, he, he made Mecca become Muslim. And Medina become Muslim. It's one man. It's one man. It's not, it's not like multiple people. It's one man. And in the span of 23 years, that's a short time. So this is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and we gather here to honor the Prophet who is the highest ranking of the creations. We gather here to, uh, to, to
to, to say praises of the Prophet Muhammad Also the Prophet, he was an, uh, he was an orphan his, uh, his mom and dad died and he was young So he didn't have any father to, to support him Or like uh, any mother there He was raised, he was raised by his uh, father's father whom, um, whom, whom also died when he was young so, if one looks at the life of the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, they will extract many wisdoms and many lessons. So, um, honor the Prophet, learn about the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and try to imitate the Prophet because uh, if you imitate the Prophet, it will be a uh, source of getting a higher rank. And uh, love him. Love the Prophet Muhammad. And don't be shy. Jazakallah <laughs> khairan. So we're gonna give the mic for the next about twenty minutes.